So in my last video, I showed you how to make a $2 storm glass, but I really wanted to heat things up. I mean, I guess cool things down by making a giant weather predicting storm globe here on Ryan Make. Let's be honest, snow globes are really boring. I mean, they just sit there unless you shake them and then they start snowing. But we're going to make this storm globe that has its own snow making abilities based on an interaction between alcohol and the camphor that's held in suspension. It comes out as the alcohol cools to form a fog and then just this beautiful falling snow. So to make this project work, it took several different components. First, I needed to find a jar that was big enough to hold the winter scene and had an opening large enough to allow the winter scene to go inside. That was a, more of a challenge than I had expected. The next, we need our seven liters of solvent, which turned out to be 80 proof alcohol. Next, we're going to need about a pound of camphor. And then, like I said, we 3D printed a cottage from a Thingiverse file. The link is in the description below. And then to give it a little bit more ambiance, we're throwing in some string lights. And the best part is, there's a remote. If you want to make this yourself, check out my Instructables page. The link is in the description below. So here we are back in the kitchen, ready to construct our storm globe. It's actually pretty simple. We have our two main ingredients, our ethanol and our camphor. Now, this is gonna take a little while, but we're gonna use about seven liters of vodka. Now, I might have to think about how much fluid the house is going to displace. But I think we'll probably be okay because it is mostly hollow. And there we have it. About 6.75 liters of vodka. Good to the last drop. And then I weighed out about 530 grams of camphor, which gives us about 16 grams to 200 milliliters, which is what I learned in my last video. The link is up in the card above and in the description below. We're just going to add the camphor. I pre-chopped it. It took a while and I almost cut myself, but all right, we're just going to add this all in. And then where we're going next is we're actually going into this 16 quart stock pot that I have a sous vide in. Now what a sous vide is, is effectively a hot tub for food. But what we're going to do is use it as a very controlled way of heating up our solution to melt the camphor. So it's a tight fit, but it does fit. Oh goodness. Don't drop it, don't drop it. And now it's time to cook it up. As a result of days of testing, I learned that ammonium chloride and potassium nitrate are critical elements to make a storm glass this large. But once they're in there, the results are spectacular. So our solution is all heated up and our camphor is fully dissolved. Now it's time to pull it out of our double boiler, put the sous vide and put our house inside. Let's see. All right, it does light up. This is great. Okay, now it's time to record the cooling process.
Thanks for watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing to Ryan Make. The storm clouds are clearing in Ideal Land, and I have more than the foggiest of ideas of what I'm going to do next. And they're pretty heavy, and they hold water. Until next time, I'll just be here figuring it out. Thanks.